NATO leaders expressing confidence in the ability of Afghan forces to place the country's security in their hands. NATO troops will stay in the country after 2014. However, they will not take a combat mission. Fox News correspondent Craig Boswell with the latest from the NATO summit in Chicago. Protesters attempt to overshadow the second and final day of the NATO summit here in Chicago as world leaders get to the meat of the issue, the future and the funding of the war in Afghanistan as well as the country itself. Leaders from about 60 nations discussed their commitment to the decade-long Afghanistan war. They formally agree Afghan security forces will take control of all combat next year with NATO sliding into a supporting role. This will be another step toward Afghans taking full lead for their security as agreed to by 2014 when the ISAF combat mission will end. Meanwhile, Pakistan's president, whose country has a critical role in Afghanistan's stability, is also attending the NATO summit. Pakistan closed NATO supply routes last year after a U.S. airstrike accidentally killed two dozen Pakistani soldiers. The transit routes through Pakistan are of uh, great uh, importance. I would expect a reopening of the transit routes uh, in the very near future. Today, demonstrators launched another round of protests, but they were noticeably smaller than Sunday's rallies. A group of protesters targeted Boeing headquarters for the company's role in producing military hardware for NATO. Sunday's protest was one of the city's largest in years. More than 40 people were arrested and at least four officers were injured. After gathering here at Boeing corporate headquarters, activists marched to President Obama's national re-election campaign headquarters. It remains to be seen if they'll splinter off and appear at various venues this evening as they did Sunday night. In Chicago, Craig Boswell, Fox News. Well, you don't need to wait to vote in the recall election. Absentee balloting for the June 5th recall began today. What you need to know if you want to vote early. And it's a huge success on the Internet.